guys, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter, and today I'm going to share a very special project that I've been working on. If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by, and I uh, appreciate your subscriptions to all of you who are uh, have decided to follow my YouTube channel. I've shared other projects before using these dies that you're about to see with this particular mini album, and this is uh, what I'm sharing today. They are the Tonic Memory Book... Uh, dies and I just um, I'm gonna walk you through what I've done uh, and just as a note I just want to let you know that this is a very personal project to me it's not like any of the other albums that I've made and I'll explain why I also want to let you know that it's the reason behind it is because the young lady who I made the album about passed away so it's I, I do apologize if I get emotional at all. If you don't want to hear what I'm going to share, feel free to press the mute button and that way you can just look at the pages. So you could do that now if you're only interested in the project and not in what I'm going to share. Moving along, um, the cover here says memories and I used the Wildflower Paper Collection by American Crafts other than the dies. Um, I also use my Cricut to make the title here that says Memories. I had uh, intended on using a tonic die for that. However, I was unable to find it here in the US, so I went ahead and just used my Cricut because I'm able to use that to make um, titles or anything like that. And, and the image there does say Memories. I don't know if I mentioned that, so I apologize if I repeat myself. I'm just trying to focus on sharing the album, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult. The spine here has, what I, what I did here was that I did use Mod Podge to add glitter to the page that I embossed in the background there, and I know it's kind of difficult to see because I also added lace to it, but the page that I added here came from that same collection that I used for the entire album. What I did was that I did cover it with Mod Podge, I added glitter to it, I um, embossed it, and I added laces to it so that I could also add this charm that I made with um, some beads here to match the paper collection as well as the little giraffe. And that's the back of the album. So now for the inside, I wanted to... Um, but you know, I just used uh, and some antique seam binding. So I used some old elements and newer elements. And this was made with a lot of love. It was made for someone who I love dearly. So uh, the pictures came from her social media posts and they were available to the public. So that's where they came from. Um, the um, the inside cover here says Darling, and I used Heidi Swap stickers that are made of foam. They're really soft, and I, and I thought that that would be really um, appropriate, I guess, you know, as some of the titles. And then I used this little clock that has wings. I was asked to make the book by a mutual friend, so I acquiesced and she asked that I add wings um, and the giraffes and um, the young lady uh, she loved giraffes so that's why there are uh, the images of the giraffes and they, they did come from Cricut Design Space um, here I made a little pocket and just added some little tags that her mom or siblings can add little notes to if they uh, choose to and all of the pages are the same they open up like so, and I tried to incorporate elements that would just, you know, speak to the, the pictures that I added. Uh, I normally make albums and then just the recipient adds the pictures. In this case, I did add the pictures, which I also, um, the way that I made them was so that they would be waterproof. So they don't, they're not a regular print, just so you know. Uh, again, because I mentioned she liked uh, giraffes, so some of the um, cards that are inserts for the, the pages have giraffes on them, and I left them blank purposely so that mom can add um, journaling 
of memories that she would like to write down if she's wanting to do so. All of the pages are the same style and just I just added little elements here and there so I, I kept it pretty simple in terms of the, the page type that I used and um, and I just tried to embellish it but not too much because I didn't want to um, take away from from you know what I was trying to convey there with the album which I, I wanted to be respectful of course and um, so you know I, I did try to keep it simple um, so all the pages are like that and then some of them I added little elements to to decorate um, she was a very creative young lady and um, very well loved by all of her friends anyone who knew her um, there was a lot there to um, I could have filled the book um, I just decided not to because there are memories that are you know far more personal that should go in the book I believe so that's why um, some of the pages are blank um, here I repeated the little giraffe there and the sentiments from the collection I felt were also appropriate this one says you are my sunshine my only sunshine and there's that layout and as you see I, I also incorporated little stickers here and there um, that have little phrases and I hope that this is showing all of the inserts just to let you know what I did was I cut this little shape here with a die that I have um, and I cut the, the shape in half to make tabs and then I was just able to add those little tabs to the side of the pages um, to make it easier to, to insert and you know take out of the album and this is the middle of the album so I actually flipped the page so that they would face each other in this style um, and that made it a little bit easier and of course you know like I said before leaving room for plenty more pictures or um, journaling and all of them open like that so I'm not going to keep taking the rest of them out there but I just wanted to you know show you the layouts there um, and just to say you know um, as a Christian I know that that you know our lives here are only temporary and this this is why I wanted to share this on my YouTube channel. It's not because I want to get any kind of accolades for having made a, a mini album. I mean, it's um, it's not about that. I just wanted to share my faith and just say that you know this young lady. She's she's gotten her reward. She's in heaven, um, even though she's very missed. She's very much missed. Um, so I just wanted to share that. You know, I know that this young lady is is in heaven, and and God is good, and He's faithful. And if you're blessed enough to have a child, um, take a moment to let them know how important they are to you. And uh, if you have a friend who maybe you know you haven't seen in a while or needs encouragement. Um, be the be the person who's willing to you know take the step to say hello or to you know send them a message or just show up at their door that's something that this young lady did she would be the kind of girl that would show up at a friend's door and just be there to lighten their day and um and provide love and, and kindness I didn't get to know her for very long, but I can say, um, I can attest to the fact that she always had a kind word to say, and what a beautiful testimony um, she gave us. So I just want, I want to encourage you, I, um, I don't want to make anyone sad, <laughs> um, I want to encourage you to, um, to create out of love, I've seen some 
sadly some posts on social media lately where people um, share sentiments such as, you know, I'm afraid to make that, I'm afraid to use this, I'm afraid um, that my work isn't as good as other people's work or things like that. And I just want to say, you know, do it in love. It doesn't matter if it's just one piece of paper or if it's one ribbon, if it's, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not about the talent. It's about how you use it. If you, if you've ever read the Bible, then, um, or if you haven't, I encourage you to read the parable of the talents. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to, um, share what I've learned. Um, you know, uh, God wants us to use the things that we know how to do to bless other people. That's, that is it. That's all there is to it. He wants us to be a blessing to those around us. And how do we do that? We, we need to love selflessly. We need to love fully with, with abandon, you know, uh, and not be afraid to show other people how much they mean to you. Um, and that's, that was the example that Jesus gave us. And I'm happy to try every day to follow it. Even if I fail miserably, I still want to follow it. I still want to, you know, um, just live like that, live kind of recklessly in love with others. Um, and I know if that sounds weird or strange, that's okay. Um, because Jesus was told that he was, you know, wrong about everything he did. And, <laughs> Um, so who am I to be, you know, expected to, you know, to be liked, uh, or loved for what I say? It's, it's, I, I understand that everyone's will agree. Um, but I just want to say that, you know, this, this was the most difficult project I've ever made, not because I didn't want to do it, but because there was an emotional investment in having to look at the pictures and understand that, um, there's, there won't be another page yet <laughs> um, but the story continues uh, life is eternal when we have Christ in our hearts and when we're willing to um, to live for the Lord and um, and give up everything we have to receive him the recompense is far greater than anything that we can receive here far greater than any accolade or any acceptance um, so I'll leave you guys with that. I thank you for watching. If you have watched until the end, I appreciate you and I love you. And I hope that you're inspired and that you're blessed and that you come back and uh, watch other videos that won't be as emotional. But um, I did want to share the project. And, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. As I always say, I'm available at paintsandglitter at gmail.com or on Facebook. I encourage arts. Be blessed. Bye-bye.